Hi, my name is Florian Friedrich. In this video I want to give you a demonstration of the Bass Witch Clean Boost and the Bass Witch Classic Boost, two of the three new pedals of Rupert Musical Instruments. You probably heard of the name Bass Witch before because of their awesome Bass Witch IQ DI that with all its features and superior sound quality revolutionized the preamp, equalizer, switching, effect loop and the iBox standard on the market a few years ago. The first great thing about all three new pedals is that they are built on the same high quality preamp as the Bass Witch IQ DI and they also feature the Lele True sound technology and a power supply that will take any voltage between 9 and 15 volts regardless of the polarity or if it's AC or DC. Another similarity is the Lele switch that will last much longer than any pedal switch on the market. You don't put your foot onto the switch on the circuit board but instead you actually move this handle to make the switch for you. The two boost pedals are very easy to use. They have only four controls to modify or boost your sound. Gain, mids, bass and treble. The gain on the pedals has a headroom of plus min 15 dB so you can use it not only in front of your amplifier but it also allows you to actually use it as a preamp directly with a power amp or an active monitor or active bass cabinet or in any monitoring system. One other thing the clean boost and the classic boost have in common is the extraordinary design treble control. On both pedals this will act like a passive tone control when cutting the treble frequencies like on passive jazz or precision basses and when adding the treble frequencies it will act like an active treble control. That means when you cut the treble it will lower the high frequencies at about 10 kHz and when you boost the treble it will boost at about 5 kHz. You will hear that this works exceptionally well. Ok let's start with the clean boost. As the name suggests this boost doesn't color your bass tone at all. You can alter the character of your sound but you will always hear the true tone of your instrument. To demonstrate the clean and the classic boost I will play different bass lines right into my loop station and go directly into the two boost pedals so that you can hear and compare the sounds in real time. This bass is set to passive and I'll start with a bridge pickup. As you can hear, the sound stays clear and transparent through all alterations. Let's take a look at the Bass Switch Classic Boost. This boost has already a basic sound setting, even when you leave all the knobs neutral at 0 dB and just turn it on.
As you can hear, it slightly rolls off the high frequencies and adds a bit of bottom end to your bass tone. This is truly a well-chosen preset and the great thing about it is that the pedal keeps the vintage and classic sound even when you use the controls. Listen for yourself. The Bass Switch Clean Boost and the Bass Switch Classic Boost will also work extremely well in combination with the Bass Switch IQDI. They can supply its true sound channel also with a high quality equalizer for even more flexibility. Another great thing about using the Bass Switch pedals is that you will use the controls in a very intuitive and musical way. Turning them clockwise is more and counterclockwise is less. It's that simple. You can use the Bass Switch Boost pedals as regular booster with adjustable EQs or maybe as a second sound setting. or as a standalone preamp. So whether you like a clean and transparent bass tone or you love that vintage classic tone of your instrument, the choice is yours. But for sure, the Bass Switch Clean Boost and the Bass Switch Classic Boost will bring your bass sound to a higher level. Mm -hmm. 